Welcome back. If you're one of the millions of Americans feeling stressed or just burned out, <laughs> listen up. There are a few simple things you can do every day in the comfort of your own home to create a more focused and balanced lifestyle. Yeah, I was lucky enough to visit the Center for Health and Well-Being at the Four Seasons Westlake Village to find out how we can get on the road to feeling our best. I'm with Julie, who is the licensed therapist here at the Center for Health and Well-Being at the Four Seasons Westlake Village. Well-being is our buzzword because everything that's happening in the world, kids, work, children, life, everything, everything, I'm stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We have a lot going on. And when we feel overwhelmed or we're struggling to focus, that's actually our body's natural way of telling us that we need a break. And it can be really difficult to put everything aside. But actually, when we do that, research shows that we come back with renewed focus, with renewed clarity, and actually with more creativity and better able to manage our emotions. What can we add to our daily routines to, to get it going? to get in focus. And I, I, it's almost like we don't want to think of, of it as adding to our routines. We want to think of it as natural breaks during the day. So we want to put in a few five to 10 minute, maybe 15 if you're feeling ambitious, breaks in our day to pull away from the screens, pull away from whatever you're working on and do something really different. Yeah, like what? What can we do? <laughs> There's a lot of different things you could do. So it doesn't have to be, mind, it's very mindful to focus on one thing at a time. So mindfulness doesn't have to mean meditation. We can take a walk. You can play a game with your kids. You could even prep for dinner, just, you know, chopping up vegetables, maybe listen to some music or stretch your body. Any of those activities are considered mindful and would have a lot of benefit. And are you giving us permission to do these things at work? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. It's not even considered not work because it really makes you better when you come back as an employee, as a worker, as a partner, as a friend. We're just better all around when we do what our bodies need because we're not machines. Well, you mentioned cooking and we're going to do that next because if you eat well, you feel well, right? Absolutely. All right. So we're going to head to the kitchen. Lovely. <laughs> all right, thank, <laughs> thank you, you. Julie. <laughs> Everyone, this is Paulette. She's a registered dietitian and just the woman we need because we need to eat good to feel good. Right? Right? <laughs> Never feel good when I eat junk food. So this already smells amazing. What recipe do you have for us today? So the recipe today is going to be a Mideastern bowl. And I love bowls because it's a way to incorporate so much more wellness into your everyday eating habits. And you know, in order to get some well-being on a daily basis, you need to keep it very simple and very that makes it sustainable. It gets difficult, we can't do it. We have to do small steps to make it very sustainable, and that's what bowls are about. And this looks like everything you would already have in your house. Pretty much. It's, and again, there's different kinds of bowl. Asian bowl, a Mexican bowl, a Greek bowl. So you can kind of, kind of go with what you have. Yeah. But the whole bowl thing is about balance. And so we have our grains over here, which we ha I have. You can, this is barley. You can use quinoa. We're going to use farro today. You can use brown rice. I've got roasted vegetables over here. We've got our lean chicken grilled over here and cooked. Hummus, feta cheese, and you're going to make an amazing Greek yogurt sauce. Okay, well, let's get okay. to it. What do I have All to right. do? So you have plain yogurt. Squeeze some lemon in there. So simple to take a carton of plain yogurt. That's good. All right. Add a little garlic. Okay. And I'm going to add some pinches of salt. You need a little bit of salt in there to make that go from sour to savory. A right. little bit here. And then we're going to add a little bit of olive oil and whisk. Okay, whisk. Easy that is, enough. That is amazing tasting And it's salt. just a quick whisk here? A quick whisk. Okay, yep, just mix that olive oil in there and mix okay. it all in there. That's it. And okay. I'm going to build a bowl. Okay, let's go. So on your bowl, probably what you want to start with is a cup of grain. So a cup of grain is a good serving, not too much, but it gives us a good base. And again, farro, very, uh, very ancient grain, one of the first grains ever cultivated. To that, I'm going to add a variety of vegetables, and I always like to roast different kinds together. That way, I get I can really get a lot of flavor in my bowl. And I've got zucchini, tomatoes, some mushrooms, and over here I've got peppers. Get it a little tasty here. All right. And then we're going to top that with our chicken. And this could be ground turkey with seasoning in it. I just use some Greek um, Mideastern seasoning. You can just use coriander and cilantro at home, and a little cumin works. So you're going to put your protein on here. And if you're okay. vegan, you could just do roasted garbanzo beans, Mideastern, and it gives you protein. Okay. And then I'm going to top this with a little bit of lettuce. 
And again, a cup of um, shredded lettuce would be another vegetable serving, which is good. <laughs> and then we're gonna top it with a little bit of hummus, and often we buy that at the store because it's a good snack for us and healthy, but yeah. that makes it a very Mideastern bowl on top. And I'm gonna sprinkle some feta cheese on here. Nice. And then you're gonna put on our sauce. Awesome. Just spoon this on here. Okay. And and I love there throwing fresh herbs on everything if you can because they have more antioxidants than even the vegetables and fruit do. Well, there you go. So always try to use as many fresh herbs in your oh, cooking as you look can. Look at that. This looks so delicious. And we're getting a lot of servings of vegetables in this, right? Yes, this is three, and if you added another cup of vegetables, it would be five. Oh. And you eat two pieces of fruit that day, and you did hit your seven. Okay, take a look at this. Okay. See what you think of that sauce. Oh, I, I'm, oh the sauce. Mm. Good. I'm speechless. <laughs> 